All right, welcome back for another replay cast. Playing as the dwarves again. So I'm coming in with Thoric Ironbrow as my lord. Two squads of long beards on the front line. Two squads of long beards with great weapons behind them. Slayers backing them up. And then I have got a squad of cannons and the Goblobbers, which is the regiments of renown. Grudge throwers, they're gonna be doing some leadership debuffing. For my opponent playing as Slanesh, He's coming in with Azazel as his lord. He's got Forsaken of Slanesh, lots of demonettes, low armor, high, high armor piercing, and he's got two cultists. So, let's get this into real speed. I'm actually gonna speed this up a second as I'm kind of deploying my formation. So. I'm moving my artillery pieces so that they're on top of hills so they have better line of sight. See, we've got my uh, Grudge Stars back here. Cannons over here. <clears throat> Slayer sitting on top of them. I was expecting for my opponent to potentially be using Seekers of Slanesh or Hellstriders or something like that to counter my artillery. So that's why I've got Slayers back there. Longbeard's coming out here deploying on the front line. And uh, they've got two cultists coming around the flank. Azazel flying around. Demonettes and Forsaken just taking points two and one. Brought in Felix. Good anti-infantry specialist. And he's going to be looking to deal with these cultists as they go to threaten my, my backfield. My opponent is bringing in some Chaos Furies of Slanesh, two squads of them. And of course, those are going to be coming after the cannons. Now, these guys are infantry sized, so my slayers are not going to uh, really specialize against them in combat. But slayers do have good damage output regardless, so they're going to give them some work. Felix going after the cultist over here. They've got two of them running in against my slayers. Longbeard's approaching point three. Still trying to figure out what I want to do over on point, uh, point two. Got another squad of Longbeard's on the way back to fight against the Chaos Furies. I figured it was better to send the Great Weapons variant against the Forsaken, given their armor values, and the standard Longbeards back against the Chaos Furies, given their armor values are pretty low. Squad of Hammers coming in to deal with these guys as well. I figured the Hammers would be good at dealing with the Cultists pretty quickly, given their damage output. Thoric moving in to deal with Azazel as he fights with my Longbeards. I believe he brought a Lash of Slanesh onto this squad and that's part of where they took that damage. The Forsaken would not have taken this much health from them uh, partially because of the high armor values on the Longbeards and the lack of um, solid armor piercing damage from the Forsaken. You can see it's only only 15 even when they're buffed, 14 when they're not. Azazel and Thoric going at it. Azazel, I'm not sure who, who takes that fight. Azazel actually has pretty good um, combat stats comparatively. Thork's got a lot more armor, so that's going to help him out. Fury's getting chased off by the Slayers and the, uh, the Longbeards. Now, on this side, I was not catching what he was doing, so he charged in with a ton of Demonettes. And Demonettes, I, I would have figured, given the um, another squad over here flanking, I'm not sure if they ran around this way um, or if they were a summon from the Cultist. But either way, I got Quarrelers coming on with great weapons. They're just gonna sit behind and shoot into these Demonettes. Demonettes do not have good armor. You see they only got 10 armor. You see how much damage those Quarrelers are doing to them. So I have Quarrelers with great weapons to deal with potential armored troops from the uh, Slaneshi roster. And I've also got Thunders in my back pocket as well for um, dealing with more armored troops of theirs. But you can see most of the troops that they're bringing in are somewhat lightly armored. Uh, Rune of Wrath and Ruin coming down from Thoric. Again, he's got a lot of these different types of runes that he can cast. I brought Rune of Doom for the melee attack and the fear. Rune of Wrath and Ruin for the explosion. I figured I could use that on infantry and whatnot. And then the Rune of Speed. I knew mobility was going to be a potential problem for me here. So I wanted to have this available to uh, maneuver him well. Especially since he's on this big chair and he's like, pretty slow on it. Azazel disengaging from, from Thoric. My opponent's holding point one, and I believe they have point two. So I wasn't able to fully capture that. Got one squad of Longbeard sitting on point three, so that's not been able to be threatened. 
Eventually we were able to fight off the cultists and the uh, furies and whatnot, but you can see there's another cultist coming back from fleeing and another squad of demons that's on the way. My cannons have been shut down and they're off the field. My grudge throwers are basically gone. They've, they've only got five crewmates left, so I believe that does uh, make it so that they shoot slower even when these guys get back to the equipment. Quarrelers shooting in at the demonettes. Hammers running over here to get on top of them as well. Probably not the best situation for the hammers to be in, but luckily they'll be able to uh, deal damage pretty quickly against these these troops. Slayers are going to be hopefully interfering here. A little, a little miss micro on my part. And uh, one thing I was I noticed I was struggling with was a lot of my troops were on skirmish mode, and I did not want them to be. Um, and so my quarrelers and thunders at times were moving in ways I didn't I didn't intend them to. But um, either way. Thunder is coming in over here. I wanted my thunders to threaten Azazel. And I will probably get some shots off here. Brought in the Ekron Miners with blasting charges to deal with these exalted demonettes. Again, low, low armor troop. You see how much damage they took. Lost about half their health on the approach. I, I think, from my understanding, the um, blasting charges are really good against lightly armored elite infantry. And so, for me, getting them off on that Vanguard deployment against these Demonets of Slanesh was going to be a pretty good deal. In fact, these are Exalted Demonets, so they've also got... Interesting, I didn't know about this ability, I've never... Or this um, debuff, I guess you'd call it. Never seen that before, but... Longbeards and Thoric dealing with some Demonets over here. My opponent still has control over point two. He's getting ahead of me in the uh, victory points. Longbeard sitting here holding against the Zazel and another squad of Exalted Demoness. CL, uh, what is that thing called? A whip of Slanesh? Lash of Slanesh coming down on the Longbeards. These guys are rampage now. More Furies coming in. Jump on top of my uh, Thunders. Hammers and Quarlers trying to get out of the backfield. This, this Godlover is probably not worth trying to protect at this point. The Slayers are there, but you know I'm going to be de-summoning some troops in the backfield here. Brought on another cannon. They're gonna be firing at these Forsaken. And uh, just trying to protect them up on this hillside, keep them in a point where it's a little bit easier to prevent the mobility of Slanesh from taking them out. Felix is over here fighting with some exalted demonettes. Not really a situation you want him to be in. You see the armor piercing value from these from these troops and how quickly they're they're dealing with him. Um, Fury's going down. Again, the Quarrelers are really going to deal well against the Furies. They're going to deal well against the Demonettes as long as they don't get jumped by them because they've got pretty good um, damage output, especially against unarmored troops. And um, decent range as well, 160 range. So Hammer's coming over here to try to help out Felix. He's getting chased off though. Cannon starts shooting in here as well. Um, but unfortunately, Felix is on the run. Longbeard's chasing down some Forsaken. I don't know how they're moving as fast as they are. It seems like they're moving quicker than, than what you'd expect, but Azazel's jumping on top of some Slayers. I'm not too worried about that. Um, Forsaken dealing with Dwarf Warriors and Eckert Miners. I figured at this point I really wanted to get some capture weight on point two. Point one's mostly unoccupied. You can see the value trade is very close between us. I've got some more supplies accessible to me. My opponent's about halfway to victory on the victory points, so uh, definitely got a, I'm assuming I'm almost to triple cap territory. So Thork and the Hammer is going over here to take point three. Point two is starting to be under threat by me. You see the Thunder is doing some pretty good job against the Demonettes. They're going to be backing up. Quarrelers coming in here to get some shots off as well. Good target for them. Ekron's Miners are on the run. Looks like they finally got finished off. I'm not sure. If, I don't think I unsummoned them. I'm pretty sure they were fleeing, so they might be shattered. Um, Azazel is still alive. And this is something that I, I was trying to shoot him down with my cannon at times. I was trying to shoot him down with my Quarrelers at times, my Thunders at times. But he, he was really being elusive um, in the second half of this match or so. So at this point, I've got point three. Point two, I'm starting to threaten. I've got literally one Slayer on here. <laughs> so I don't know how this guy's not running, I guess. So Slayers are unbreakable. Okay, so I actually didn't know that um, Slayers were unbreakable, but Azazel's taken off before Felix is able to get to him. More Demonettes in the backfield trying to threaten the uh, 
the shooting and the, and the artillery. They're gonna take some shots on the approach. Slayer's coming in here to, to intercept them. Slayers actually have decent damage out damage I put against these guys more than I would have expected. And so it's not a bad trade for me in this kind of situation. Cannons are getting some point blank shots off on them. Forsaken and Dwarf Warriors still match up here. I believe the Forsaken will take that somewhat handily, even though they lack the armor piercing. You see the weapon strength is like you know, over over twice as much for them compared to the Dwarf Warriors. So the armor is not even helping that much for these guys. More demonets coming in. You can see this has been my, my opponent's unit of fa um, what do you call it? unit of favor. Their favorite troop to, to be summoning back in here. You know, I've got a lot of a lot of infantry. I don't have too much shooting in my roster. Uh, the the Quarlers and the Thunders. I haven't been able to use them too effectively so far. Uh, definitely got some pressure and, and some decent damage value on some of the demoness, but his mobility is really what I'm struggling to deal with here. So Hammer's getting chased off. Thoric and Felix are now fighting side by side. They're kind of off on their lonesome against these uh, elite infantry. More Forsaken charging in. Ekron's Miner's coming back out. Good volley on top of the Forsaken. Uh, they're not liking that as far as their leadership. And you can see this is one thing for me that I was having a problem with is the units overlapping here. Chaos Fury's jumping on top of the Quarrelers. I really gotta make sure I'm, I'm not um, stacking units on top of each other like this because it messes with your mobility, it messes with your ability to take favorable engagements. More Slayers getting summed in, summoned in to deal with these Chaos Furies. Uh, again, not an ideal trade. Cultists coming here back in, in the backfield, getting some disruption down. So look, I believe what they have is, yeah, they can summon a unit of demonets, demonets after they've been, been engaged in combat for, I'm not sure how long. Doesn't quite say how long it takes to charge up, but regardless, at this point, you can see my opponent still got points 2.1, and uh, I'm gonna end up losing this, not able to get the victory point, so I'm gonna fast forward to the end here. I was able to make a little bit of a push at the end, but just couldn't seal the deal. You can see I'm a little bit ahead on the value trading. I'm actually surprised I was. I felt like I wasn't taking too many good trades, but I've got a pretty good ball of troops here, able to take point two, bring Ekron's Miners back to sit there, you know, Cultist, Demonets still causing me some trouble. More Demonets coming up here on the point. Trying to get Capture Weight on here, but they're just, you know, they're 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 winning these infantry trades. Um, I did not have a, a great answer for that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I could have done. Um, like, just thinking off the top of my head, I still don't know the Dwarf roster that well. I wonder if bringing in some kind of gyrocopters and some uh, air forces would be good here. They didn't bring Marauders. I, I think Slanesh has access to Marauders, but I almost wonder if bringing in some kind of anti-large um, range troop, like one of the bolt throwers, I think that's the anti-large artillery for the dwarfs is. Maybe bringing a bolt thrower to deal with Marauders and then having somewhat of an air force to take out these elite infantry would be good, so that when they get matched in, uh, say against Longbeards or Dwarf Warriors or something like that, you can drop a bombing run on them. Um, Either way, it was an interesting match, a fun match, even though I lost. Well played to my opponent. I liked his name, it was kind of funny. Um, so let's take a look at what the damage values came out as. So Thoric did pretty well. Godlovers didn't get didn't get shit done. Slayers actually actually did better than I would have thought. Uh, I believe both of them were resummoned at some point. Cannon did all right, but Honestly, I, I should have got more value on that thing, especially since it was a resummon. Longbeards did not perform too well. You know, these, these guys were getting matched up against Demonets um, and Exalted Demonets for most of the matchup, so I'm not too surprised about that. Felix did all right. He really helped against those Cultists. Uh, Hammer is not so great. I did have a Gyrocopter at some point. I don't remember, I do not remember bringing this guy in. I'm not sure what I was using him for. But uh, he didn't get too much done. This is the anti-large variant. Thunders didn't do good. Quarrelers didn't do great. Ekron's Miners did pretty good. Again, getting blasting charges off on Elite Infantry was good. Didn't get to use my Bolt Throwers, and the Dwarf Warriors did, did bad. Azazel did all right for him. That's actually, I'm assuming that's pretty good for his value. I don't know how much he costs, but um, Cultist didn't do great. Some of this value 
probably didn't get calculated from them summoning in demonettes and having the demonettes disrupting my back lines and fighting with my infantry. Forsaken did all right. And here's where a lot of their value came from. So you see the demoneth did pretty good. I'm gonna be curious to see Exalted Demoneth did pretty well as well. Not this squad so much, but Regiments of Renown put in a lot of work. He didn't use his cavalry. And wow, this squad of Furies did, did a lot. So there you go, pretty interesting matchup. Um, fighting and using the dwarfs against the pace of Sunesh on that open map was pretty interesting to me. I, I lost, but it was it was fun playing that map uh, and trying to you know get my guys in the right formations and whatnot. I didn't do a great job of it, but it was it was an interesting learning experience. And uh, again, well played to my opponent. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.